Hello everyone and welcome back to G to Crash Bandicoot 3. Sorry. I, I almost didn't know what game I was playing. I've been D I'm DJ Cinnamon and of course this is Crash Bandicoot 3. In the last episode, we beat World 2 and we roasted Dingo Dial and we got his double jump. Although I I highly doubt he could jump. But we got it anyway. In this episode, we're going to be taking on the first little bit of World 3. And as you can see up in that top corner is the guy Uka Uka brought in to meet Neo Cortex at the beginning of the game. So we're going to be finally confronting him. So we jump into this first level and it's a lava world. Well, haven't we gotten far for a pair of fuzzy marsupials? I am Dr. Nefarious Trophy, master of time and creator of the very time twister machine you see before you. Uka Uka. Well, thank Dr. you for creating Cortex it. Like now, I now I can like charade, take so all the crystals from you. My area with the crystals. I swear it. I I will be leaving the area with all your crystals because I'm gonna get them. That that's just it. I'm gonna get them all. Sorry that I'm sniffling a bit. I actually have, I actually have a bit of a cold right now. And get out of here! You're you're some sort of you're some sort of Crash Bandicoot doppelganger, and you're not me. Stop trying to be me. I'ma be me. I'ma just be me. So you be you, I be me. Like, that's just how it's supposed to go. Accept it. It can only be one. I said there can only be one. And I don't want a hug from you. Here is actually uh, a platform we would jump on if we had the yellow crystal. But I don't. So we're not going to jump on it. Because we can't. Because the platform is just not there. Quickly run through this level. And here I think we actually get another ride on. It, this is sort of like the uh, sort of like the uh, underwater submarine scuba thing from the underwater level, except now it's a dinosaur, so it, it's just that much more awesome because it's a dinosaur. I mean, who, who doesn't like a dinosaur, really? I know I like dinosaurs. Crash likes dinosaurs, and look how cool Crash is. Although. That guy apparently liked dinosaurs a lot more than I did because he he gave it a big hug and it it disappeared. <laughs> so now I have to make my way through the rest of this without a dinosaur. It makes it makes me a little sad because I like that dinosaur. It's pretty cool. Oh, this this section again. I'm just gonna destroy you. This. Always caused me trouble. In both, in both the lava dinosaur world so far, this is like one of the areas I hate. Right, right when you're side scrolling like that, it just—I've died so many times to those nitro boxes. It's just ridiculous. Let's see what's coming up next. Another dinosaur. Isn't that grand? Oh, finally we can actually use that uh, body slam attack that we've that we've used once so far. I, I think. Unfortunately, it does not get any more powerful when we double jump, and I, we can't even actually do it when we double jump. Gosh, come on, just do your belly flop. Although we are having to use a lot more of our powers than we had to before, which is good. I I am a fan of that. Destroy these quickly, jump on over, and get another slam. And we got all the boxes in that area. Good job, me. Good job. Oh, I'm not looking forward to that dinosaur. Not looking forward to that at all. It's the last time I had one of these. It did not go so great. But I think I got this this time. Just take the take one of these paths, yeah, it's beating me right up. Boxes slow me right down. I'm trying, trying, to, I'm trying to keep pace here. So, 
boxes if you'd be so kind not to slow me down. That'd be that'd be fine and dandy by me. I just wanna I just wanna keep moving. There we go, end off that level with one of those dinosaur chases. I actually did pretty good in that one. That one can be a little bit tricky if you miss those speed up areas, but luckily I wasn't I was in a good spot and I got him, so. And what did we get? Got a crystal. Not so bad. At least it's something. Deep trouble. This level. I actually... This is actually one of the levels that I remember how to get the other gem in it. So I think I might actually try and get that right now. Uh, just because I can and I may as well give it a shot. So, I think I... I know it involves taking this as far through the level as I possibly can. I know that much. And I'm trying to do this off memory. So, I might be I might be wrong. So, what I think we actually need to do is take this as far as it can go. And I know I need it at the end of the level. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make sure I have one at the end of the level. And do my best to keep it because if I lose it, that might that might screw me over. I don't really want that. Well, I remember as a kid when I would go through these things, I'd be so it'd be it'd be quite nerve-wracking for me, and I would just want to get through it as quickly as possible. Don't really want to get hit, but don't want to get eaten by a eel now, or by a shark, or by any other aquatic animal down here. Swim through these as quickly as you can. So you don't get sucked up into the vortex. Because that would just be no fun. Thread the needle. Thread the needle. Whew. Didn't, I wasn't sure if I was going to make it through there. Although, I did have Aku Aku, so I was a little safer than I, th than I thought I was. I do often forget I have Aku Aku. And quite often, not only do I forget I have Aku Aku, I have... There's been times where I think I have him, and I definitely do not have him. Like now. Now I must remember I do not have an Aku Aku to save my life. It's all me now. Don't get, don't get fucked up on me. Keep going, Crash. Go, go, go! What do we got over here? Something, somewhere I can't really go. I hope that, hope that doesn't screw me. What do we got in here? Oh. Eel, come on out, come on out. Tricked ya. I, I tricked ya. Tricky bandicoot here. Thought you thought you were gonna have dinner. You're just gonna go hungry today. And I die right before the checkpoint. Right before the checkpoint. Oh yeah, that's, that's what I like with the deaths right before the checkpoint. <sighs> Just so annoying, especially when you complete the checkpoint and you're just so close. It's just, it's 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 really disheartening because you saw it and you know you could have got it. Oh well, I'll, I'll get it this time. Make my way through this spinning electric thing down here. I don't want to be a puffer fish. Oh no oh no. I meant I meant to swim, not spin. I know I know those words are the same, but the buttons that perform those actions are very different. Hopefully I can make it. Swim, crash, swim, swim. Yes. Don't swim, swim, swim. It's obviously what you need to do. Bandicoot, swim now. Uh, am I? Uh, oh thank God! I thought I was stuck there, and I was gonna be. Okay, not yet. I thought I was going to be there forever, and it was just going to be no fun. Okay, third time's the charm, right? Hopefully... Okay, you... Oh, get, get that. Okay, so... Got our little speeder boat again. To be honest, I don't really know what to call this thing. Because it... I've never really seen one. Especially in real life. Because, frankly, I don't do a lot, a lot of deep sea diving. I don't know about you, but 
That's not really a hobby. I think many. I lost it. Crap. I thought I was far enough from that nitro box that I wouldn't have lost it, but I guess not. So, by hitting that exclamation point, it actually makes. Um. Something appear earlier on in the level that we can now go back and get that crystal. I'll meet you back when I get. Oh wait, here we go. Maybe I can just because I know I still have to go hit that box. So that that is the first and foremost goal. But if I if I can manage to not lose this, that would be very helpful to my goal. Because I think I might need this. I'm not 100 percent sure. But part of me is like, hey Justin, you, 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 you should probably keep this. Just, just in case. Just in case I need this, you should probably keep this. So, just take out those things one at a time and make sure I'm not get, I don't get blown up this time. I don't really get through that. There we go. Thank God. Okay. Make my way back now. And hopefully not die a horrible, horrible death. Okay. That's right. I forgot I can dash with this thing. Very dangerous. Very dangerous indeed. Because I might... I don't really want to... I don't really want to screw myself over. I do have a bit of a tendency to do that. And now, when we go back through this, the uh, little metal box area over here will actually have a TNT that we can blow up and get through this area now. So, make our way through here, and we get another checkpoint. Which is good. It's good. Feels good. Okay, don't don't get hit by a puffer fish. Don't don't do not want to be a puffer. Bandicoot. That would be no fun! I didn't want to swim that way. Uh, this episode is probably going to be a little bit longer because I plan to do three levels at a time. I really want to get this level done, but at the same time, I know I'm so close to getting that gem. It'd be such a, sh it'd be such a shame to quit now on trying to get it. Because, like, I know it's right, right, right ahead of me. Stay to the left this time and not get decimated by those Nitro boxes. My old enemy, Nitro. Come up here. God damn it. Damn it! Thank God I finally got through there. Okay. Next obstacle. Getting through those guys. Sharky, get out of here. I do not want you. Okay. I thought I thought I was dead there. Thank God I was not. Get rid of you, Shark. I I am sick and tired of this level, and I just really want to get my gems. One gem. Two gem. Gone. <laughs> Finally. Finally done that level. Oh, that, that one last section gave me so much, so many problems. But we got all the gems from that level. We finally finished it up. And I think I think I'm actually gonna call it call it a call it a day with this with this episode. So if you like what you've seen, like and subscribe. And in the next episode we should be taking on the majority of this the rest of the world. So hope to see you then. Until then, I've been DJ Sandman. Bye!